and welcome back to the channel everybody. This will be the third video on our Western Mediterranean cruise. Our cruise was booked through Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines on Vision of the Seas. This excursion was booked through Royal Caribbean directly. The cruise ships dock in Civita Vecchia. From there, it's about an hour and a half bus ride into Rome, depending on the traffic. This excursion packs so much into one day, I will separate it into two videos. Part one here will focus on the Vatican and Trevi Fountain. In our previous video, we visited the second smallest country on earth, Monaco. Today, this excursion will take us to the smallest country on earth, Vatican City. The Lateran Treaty of 1929 between the Holy See and the Kingdom of Italy established Vatican City as an independent country. Vatican City only covers about 121 acres with a population of less than 500. Here you see the border between Vatican City and Rome marked by the white line in the pavement. Prior to entering St. Peter's Basilica, you will stand in line with several thousand of your closest friends to go through security here in St. Peter's Square. Do not let this line scare you away from your visit. It does move rather quickly. The centerpiece of St. Peter's Square is the Vatican Obelisk. The Emperor Caligula had the obelisk brought from Egypt to Rome around the year 40 AD. The obelisk was moved to its current location in the year 1586. Construction of the present basilica began in April of 1506 and was completed in November of 1626. Of course, Vatican City is the home to the Pope and St. Peter's is the holiest shrine in all of Roman Catholicism. The beautiful portico over the entrance gives you a hint of what is to come. Inside are over a hundred chapels, altars, statues, and monuments. The scale of the building simply overwhelms you and dwarfs you as you enter. Immediately to the right of the entrance is a piece of art that draws a very large crowd. The sculpture is Our Lady of Piety, completed by Michelangelo in the year 1499 when he was only 24 years old and carved from a single block of marble. Nearby is the final resting place of Pope John Paul II. The Dome of St. Peter's rises 136 and a half meters or 448 feet above the floor of the Basilica. This nearly 29 meter tall bronze canopy or baldachin is built over the high altar in St. Peter's. The actual remains of St. Peter are in a crypt below.
Obviously, any 400 year old building will require some maintenance. The President of France was scheduled to meet with the Pope the afternoon of our visit. Luckily, we completed our visit before he arrived. We were then back on the bus for a rather quick ride over to Trevi Fountain. Apparently, along with every other tourist in Rome that day. The fountain is at the junction of three roads and marks the end of an aqueduct that brought water to ancient Rome. Construction on the fountain as we see it now was begun in 1732 and completed in 1762. The fountain has gone under numerous restorations over the year. The most recent was between 2013 and 2015 which included the addition of lights. The fountain has appeared in numerous movies over the years, perhaps most famously in Roman Holiday in 1953. Fighting your way through the crowd to throw the coin over your shoulder can be a bit of a challenge. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Be on the lookout for uh, Rome Part 2 coming up next, along with the rest of our videos from our cruise through the Western Mediterranean, as well as many other adventures.